Hey everybody, this is Atomic Sushi. Today, I'm going to go over the Big Time Marketplace and show you how to do a couple of the things you might need to do there. So to get started, you're going to go to bigtime.gg. Whenever you get there, you're going to see this register button. Let's go ahead and click that. Once you get there, you'll be able to make an account. So I'm going to click Sign In. I'm going to sign in with Google. I'm going to pick an account that I haven't used before so that I can make a new account and show you that process. It's my username. It's going to be Atomic Sushi 956. Before you accept the terms and conditions, I recommend reading them. So let's click on terms and conditions. The most important thing in here that I've found is if we scroll down to part 7 in the marketplace, 7.6. Depending on the transaction, due to the timing of the process, a 14 day window might elapse from the time you made a sale until you receive the funds in your big time account. That's very important to remember. So once you sell an NFT on the big time marketplace, it can take up to 14 days to get those funds back to that account. So remember that while you're going about this process. select an account, you're going to pick your country and add a phone number, or you can click set up later. Once you're there, you'll see the items that are on sale in the marketplace. Right now, all that you can see is the gold VIP pass, the silver pass, and the jade pass. These three passes give you access to the big time game early at different times. So the game will be free to play, but the first 1,000 people to have access will be gold pass holders. I believe the Silver Pass is the next 3,000 and the Jade Pass is the next 8,000. So once you're in here, you can click on this icon in the top right and you'll see your balance. Now if you click My Profile, you'll see two-factor authentication setup and identity verification. That's your KYC. So payouts and purchases above $3,000 require KYC. Remember that. Two-factor authentication is required in some cases. Some people have reported that they've had issues if they didn't set up their two-factor authentication before purchases. So if you're getting in on the land sale that drops tomorrow, December 21st, you're going to want to make sure that you have KYC and two-factor authentication set up already. Now if you look over here on the left, you'll see your balance. That's the amount that you have in your marketplace account. If you look at pending transaction amount, that is the money that you are receiving from sold NFTs on this marketplace that has not yet made it to your account. Click the icon, it can tell you to read the fact. So if we go back and we look at my collection, here you'll see items available to sell. Those are the items that you own on the marketplace that you can list for sale. If you click right next to that items for sale, it will show the items that you own that you have listed for sale. So it's important to remember that if you list an item for sale and it disappears from here, it is not gone. It simply moved over to this area, items for sale. And then once that item sells, you can look at your funds and you won't see any funds there from that sale. So that's whenever you go back to profile and you look at that pending transaction amount, that's where those funds are. And it can take up to 14 days to receive them. So let's go back and look at how you would buy something. So if you click on the Jade VIP Access Pass, it loads. Whenever a lot of people are on this site, it might not work quite how you would expect it to. It might take a little longer to load. So you click Select and Buy, and once you do that, you have all of these token IDs that you can select from, all listed at different prices. Now on the last VIP sales, there was um, a lot of chaos and it didn't really reflect all of the tokens that were for sale at all times because everyone was trying to get a gold pass if you looked at the 100 gold passes that were for sale you could click one you could click buy now and then it might say and then it might say this item isn't available for sale um, and then you would have to reload go back pick a different token and try again not the best process but it's the way it's built it works out pretty well for secondary sales though you can filter here by lowest price, serial number, highest price, highest serial number. 
When you're ready to deposit funds into your Big Time Marketplace account, you'll click on your profile here and select Add Funds. It's important to remember this marketplace only accepts USDC. Once you're in here, you'll click Crypto Deposit. You'll select USDC. You'll see a little information on how to deposit. And then you'll be able to select your ERC20 for Ethereum Network, Sol for Solana Network, or your Tron USDC account. You'll click here to copy that address, and then you'll go to either your exchange and withdraw to this address, or you'll use your wallet and send to this address. Once you've sent those funds, you should see them appear in this network within 30 minutes to an hour. If you check out the Big Time blog article, you'll see this information on the land sale. So there's going to be five different rarities, Exalted, Mythic, Legendary, Epic, and Rare. And there's all different quantities of these in different sizes, small, medium, and large, going for sale. Details haven't been released on what exactly all of these mean. Um, they've, they've given some details, but um, not exact benefits of what each piece of land and each size will do. But what they have released is that the more rare a land is, the more cosmetic utility it will have, as well as the more things can be built on it, such as forges, um, timekeepers. And the larger the land is, will reflect the same for forges, timekeepers, and whatever else you may be able to put in that space. So if you get small exalted, it is safe to say that you will be able to put more utility into that than a small rare. Um, likewise, a large exalted will be able to have the most utility in comparison to a large rare. <clears throat> prices are listed below. You can see the prices for the different sizes of land. <clears throat> it's important to remember these numbers whenever you go into the sale at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, December 21st. Since there are only 240 large exalted lands available, they are not only the most expensive, but they will also be the most desirable. So if you plan to buy one of those, you will want to be sitting down, logged in, KYC verified, two-factor authentication set up, and ready to buy one of these 240 large exalted lands. The lower the supply of a land is, the less likely you will be to get one. So have a backup plan. If you're not able to get a large exalted and you wanted a large land, be ready to switch over and try for a large mythic or even for a large legendary. Thank you for watching this video. If this has been helpful to you, please like the video and subscribe to my channel.